Jim Godwin, and I am a zoologist with the Alabama Natural Heritage Program at Auburn University. What we have been doing for about 15 years now is working to reestablish the eastern indigo snake in Conecuh National Forest. Our approach is to use captive bred snakes, which have been provided by the Orian Center of Indigo Conservation at the Central Florida Zoo. That's where the captive breeding facility is, and then snakes are, are, are taken from there to other facilities like Zoo Atlanta to be raised for approximately a year before we release snakes. I'm Ben McLaughlin. I am from the herpetology department at Zoo Atlanta. We're here uh, to release 10 indigo snakes that we've brought from Zoo Atlanta. We received these snakes as yearlings and we've raised them up to a substantial size so that they're at a little less risk of predation out here in the wild so that it gives them a little bit of a more fighting chance. We've released them in multiple gopher tortoise burrows here. Our goal here is to establish a viable population of the eastern indigo snake which disappeared from Alabama about 60 years ago. The reason we're doing this is because it's an important apex predator of the longleaf pine ecosystem. The, the snake is federally threatened, and so we're working closely with uh, the U.S. Forest Service here in Conecuh National Forest. They have been a great partner, and the, the Forest Service has had a program toward restoring the longleaf pine ecosystem here, which the best management tool is fire. The importance of that is it promotes gopher tortoise population because the eastern indigo snake relies upon gopher tortoises in the winter. Tortoises are important to the, the survival of the indigo snake because we, while this is South Alabama, we still may have some very cold weather and this gives a nice refugia for the, for the indigo snake, not too hot, not too cold. The snakes congregate in gopher tortoise colonies where the males and females interact and then as the weather warms up later in the spring, then they disperse out from the, the tortoise colonies and may move uh, several miles distance from, from where they overwinter. Snakes are actually seen tracking and capturing and feeding upon other snakes, such as a copperhead, water snake. And so that's our purpose here is, is to reestablish a viable population of the eastern indigo snake. What we want to be able to do is, is just step away from this, where we don't have to have any human manipulation. It's just a really cool project to reestablish uh, native species and native conservation is something that I'm really passionate about and it's just great that we can contribute to it and we actually back at the uh, forestry center here we have 26 more snakes that we're uh, real excited to get back to Atlanta and in about a year's time we'll um, come right back here and release more of them.